What in the world is that? Is that new? You better believe it's new. Looks like we got ourselves a new plow. Let's see which one will be better. This tattoo or that Ferris over there. All right, let's go test her out. Let's see how well we like the tattoo plow. Well, Brady's starting to plow and they all need an adjustment. They all need to be tighter because every single one of these units, they right away stripped because I guess the ground was too hard for it. So we need to make these a little bit tighter to where they can withstand a little bit more pressure. So slight adjustments. All right, slight adjustments. Seems like it's working a whole lot better now. None of them have tripped yet, so we'll make a few passes and uh, see if we can find some more issues to adjust. I'm not quite sure if we'll have to adjust these front tires here or anything. I'm doing the first pass, so it always does. Oh, well, look at that. I already tripped two of them right there. Uh, let's see if we can fix that. The first pass, you always gotta do a lot more shallow because you're pushing a lot more dirt on the end right there and the plow has to push up against so much dirt so you gotta go a little bit slower to where you don't break anything gonna trip that one back right there okay now we're good after the first pass it'll always go a little bit better so We'll see after this first pass to see how much adjustments we need to make. All right, welcome back to another video. Today, we are plowing. But, of course, let me explain. So, we are plowing today. We are plowing regular ground, making ready for planting peanuts. So, this ground needs to be plowed to where all the old cotton stalks and cotton burrs that were on here gets plowed underneath the ground, produces voluntary cotton. We got ourselves here a brand new 2020, I don't know if they have year models, but it's a brand new Tattoo 7 bottom plow. We got this plow from our local John Deere dealer and they gave us a really good deal on our old ones, our used John Deere plows that we used that we had. So. We traded off one of those plows for this one. They gave us a really good deal on it, so we thought might as well. So now we have, we still have one John Deere plow left in our barn. We have now our, that Ferris plow that we bought two years ago, if y'all remember. And then we also have now this tattoo plow. So we are going to find out which plow is better. So we are gonna be plowing with two plows. We're gonna be plowing with this one for now for today. My cousin's gonna go out to our other farm with the semi and our little boy, he's gonna pick up that other tractor to where we have that other tractor here. We're gonna get that tractor ready, put duels on it. Uh, also, we got to put the duels at a smaller spacing. I don't know if you can tell, but we put these duels closer together. So now this is not on 36 inch row spacing. So it gives a little bit more room here for the end to where you, know, you have all tires with contact on the ground. You get more traction, more power. So. He's gonna go get that other tractor. We're gonna make it ready. We're gonna hook that one up to the Ferris plow. We're gonna be plowing side by side because I do believe the Ferris plow, they modeled it after this tattoo plow. So it should be the same width and it should work the same. So we are going to be find out essentially which plow is better or if there even is a difference, which if it's modeled after this one, there technically shouldn't be a difference, but I guess Time will tell. I guess we'll figure that out. But, but yeah, we are plowing ground. We got this plow finally set up. We got the depth the way we want it. It looks like it's plowing good now. There's a few spots on the field where it's still quite dry. Uh, we had snow a couple weeks ago, like three and a half weeks ago, give or take. So we're gonna continue plowing because it looks like it works pretty good. I'm gonna finish plowing however much I can for today. And then come back here tomorrow, tomorrow after lunch sometime, then that other plow will be here, and then we'll be plowing side by side. But 
as far as the ground at some spots it's still a little bit dry uh, but for the most part it's still nice and wet so it's working decent there's a few hard spots uh, nothing really 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 we can do about it if we have to then we'll have to turn on the pivot water it a little bit maybe water down an inch but as for now it works so I mean so far I actually really like this plow it's really nice it pulls nice uh, so far I ran the uh, the fairs plow two years ago and I don't remember a whole lot since then but as just looking now I don't really notice a huge difference but we'll notice a bigger difference when we have the plows side by side but we're going about uh, I'd say about a foot deep foot, e foot deep to 10 inches yeah, around a foot and the tractor pulls it very nicely uh, as you can see on the screen bar right here I'm not using all of the tractor's power uh, I'm only going about 1900 rpms and then the tractor can easily pull it five miles an hour so as far as horsepower wise we're we're pretty good on that we don't need to get our bigger tractor we do have one bigger tractor this is our 8335 we have a 370 so if we need it we could go get that tractor but these, this tractor seems to pull it pretty well so we're continuing on with this tractor as you can tell i don't know if you could tell in the video but right there there's a couple of dry spots the dirt is very very clumpy there way more bigger clumps of dirt it's not we have very sandy ground so it's this is one spot where there's, I guess, a little bit more clay in the dirt, so it tends to clump up quite a bit, but it should be fine. And calling it a day. All right, here's that, no here's that other tractor. We're gonna unload this sucker, put some duels onto this tractor, and then uh, we'll hook it up to that other plow. Duels are put on, hooked on this land plane right here. I have to go an hour, an hour away from this barn right here, so I know we're gonna use this land plane, so I just hooked it up, I'm gonna take it with me. I'm just gonna unhook it over there and then we do have to switch this hitch to category four. It's on category three right now. So we are going to do that. And then we may or may not hook up that second plow today. I do know that the land was the further. We got onto the field. It was getting drier and drier. So we are going to send that pivot around real quick. Gonna water down maybe an inch or so. And then we'll get back to plowing a couple of days from now, maybe depending on depending on how long we want to wait after watering it or how wet the ground is so I think we're gonna put plowing on hold for just a little bit right now and get back to it a couple days later so currently changing this hitch to category 4 and if you're wondering what category 4 is basically you can fit bigger pins here as you can see this one's a whole lot bigger than that one it has this little deal in here all you have to do is just flip it around and then you put this heavier duty or one on top and then you have a category four hitch and that's going to be it for this video uh, plowing is going to be on hold for a little bit while we turn on our pivots and irrigate the land a little bit make the ground a little bit more wet more moist so it's going to take maybe about a week or so give or take so we'll wait till then but we'll find ourselves something else to do but thanks for watching.